Welcome back, Blade fans. Got a question for you. Why start? Why start collecting knives? I'm still trying to figure that out. Been doing it so long, got so many. Asking myself that question. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> today's knife is made by a company called Why Start. Interestingly enough, this is my second Why Start knife. And what we've got for you here today is the LK5015. No name, just the number. So, uh, let's get started. This is, <laughs> this is a knife from VG10 and Titanium. And uh, to me, it looks strangely like the Best Tech Swordfish. Wish I had the Swordfish next to me. I just thought of that. I like the blade, kind of a drop point, spear point affair out of really nicely brushed stainless VG10. You know, VG10 is a Japanese steel that is. Um, has shown up in a lot of um, Spyderco knives over the years as well as other companies but uh, they were known for it check the action on this guy yeah if you like drop shot you might like this knife it's a flipper and a flipper only um, we don't really have enough of a fuller groove there to um, do a reverse flip to a, a middle finger flip but it is uh, nicely punctuated with uh, six holes inside that fuller makes a nice decoration pretty effective jimping didn't look like it was going to be but um, got some good grip there got a blue anodized titanium handle nice pivots uh, as with my other Y start that I uh, did a review on, the um, 5022, which I'll show you in a minute, the uh, stiletto looking blade, you can look that up, videos out there, it has this interesting pivot. You could put a flat bit screwdriver in there possibly to turn it but otherwise uh, it's a little difficult to adjust unless you've got a tool designed specially for it kind of reminds me of a tri-wing but a little bit different like we have on Microtech anyway um, nice blade with a we'll call it a swedge but really kind of constitutes a uh, saber looking grind to the blade got not a bad go forward position here for the finger not really a choil but you can brace it on the guard lanyard hole and reversible clip not a deep carry but it is a, a titanium clip all the way hardware is steel yep And as I say, uh, nice action once you get over that little bit of a detent hump. Give it a little more, and she just drops right in there. Let's do some measurements, and we'll do some comparisons. So, if I can find my trusty tape measure, it's not a small knife. And I'm going to back out a little bit because it is not a small knife there we go keep a few other items from stealing the scene here overall it's a nine inch knife and it is we're gonna call it a four inch blade it's just a shade under four inches big knife which is one of the reasons of course that I liked it Pick this up, White Mountain Knives. I think the uh, price there was somewhere around 89 if I'm not 
mistaken. We have a handle thickness of exactly a half inch. Nice and slender. We've got a blade stock of four millimeters. And a weight of, I'm going to call it four and a half ounces. So, uh, not particularly light, but not particularly small. It's a nine inch knife with a, we'll call it a four inch blade. Plenty of size here. If we put it up against the Rat 1, let's see what we got. A little bit longer, edges it out by about a half inch on the blade. And throw the griptilian in there for fun. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, certainly a much bigger knife than the griptilian. And I happen to have in my pocket the Cayman, which I've been EDCing from off grid knives. Much smaller knife although stands a little taller. Been liking this Cayman. Great, tough, everyday carry. Let's get a closer look. Some of the finer points here. No pun intended, or pun intended, whatever you like. Got a stop pin there. So no internal pins, not that we are expecting any. And there is zero weight relieving on the inside of those titanium scales. Probably one of the reasons it isn't just a little bit lighter than four and a half ounces. But I'm liking the blade. It's just a really neat, we'll call it best tech swordfish style blade, of course, with the embellishment with the fuller and the holes there. Wide open construction in the back with. Um, just a spacer on the pommel. Nice big lanyard hole. Got only two screws on the show side holding it together. Two screws on the liner side. And the two screws for the clip switchable over to the left side of the knife. So you lefties are in luck. Butter smooth. And this is out of the box. Didn't oil this, didn't adjust it. Of course, would have a little difficulty adjusting it in the way they set up the screws. I'm liking it for the money, and you can get your 10% off of that amount at White Mountain Knives if you use the discount code Old Sword. And there are more out there. I just looked today. And hopefully they will maintain. There are uh, a good variety of Y Start knives on uh, White Mountain knives, as there are CH knives and a lot of the brands you'd call off brands, you know, not Benchmade, not Spiderco, etc., not Kaiser, not We, not Best Tech, etc. Um, a lot of good options out there for economy knives. This is pushing a hundred, you know, but um, you can get that price down to like 80 bucks or so. I think uh, for titanium and VG10, it's definitely going to be worth it. Feels light in the hand. Ergos are good. Contoured handle. Not squared off. Nice and rounded. Um, Good and grippy. It's a matte sort of a finish on the titanium. Hardened steel inserts. All the usual. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. This old sword back with you soon again. Be well.